a charge sphere carrying a charge of minus 34.7 microcoulomb is fixed at the bottom of a plastic tube so if we have a plastic tube that's 5 meter tall and we have fixed a charge sphere at the bottom of this uh, plastic tube okay which is carrying a charge of minus 34.7 microcoulombs okay another sphere with the charge of minus 92.5 microcoulomb and a mass of 203 gram is dropped into the tube and is allowed to move freely until it comes to at rest about the fixed sphere so another sphere has been dropped which has the charge of minus 2 uh, 92.5 microcoulomb now this this is a negative charge and this is a negative charge so same charges repel each other this mass is moving under the influence of gravitational force but electric force is pushing it upward and a time will come where electric force will become equal to gravitational force so at that point this this charge will be uh, st stabilized will will stay here in the uh, air because if it it goes down the electric force will increase and it can't go up because at the, at that point at this point electric force is equal to gravitational force so, so if it keeps going down then electric force become greater than a gravitational force and there is a net force acting on it on upward and if it goes up the gravitational force is greater than electric force so it will move down okay so the question has many parts but the first part is calculate the force due due to gravity on a sphere this is sphere the, the we dropped inside it we need to find the uh, gravitational force on it okay uh use g is equal to 9.81 newton kilogram so this is sphere a and this is sphere b and on sphere a g is equal to 9.81 newton per kilogram so we know gravitational field strength solution is equal to force per unit mass and from here we can find the force due to gravity f is equal to mg so mass is 203 gram and we need to convert 203 gram into kilogram so 203 gram divided by 100 is 0.203 kilograms multiply by g 9.81 and if you multiply you will get the force which is how much is it One point nine nine four Newton per kilogram. Okay, so that's how we can calculate the for gravitational force acting on it. The part two is so we know the electric force F electric F electric is equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught. Q1 sphere on charge a uh, charge on sphere a Q2 charge on sphere b divided by the distance between the center of spheres will be r okay and r is square so if you eliminate r what will you get r goes on this end is multiplied and f is divided on this side so we get r squared is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 divided by r square uh, sorry divided by f so where will the f come from f is because i told you the gravitational force is equal to the gravitational force acting on this sphere is equal to electric force because the sphere is a rest so both the forces are balancing each out so r will become equal to r is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 
q2 divided by f whole square root and r is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 times 10 to the power 9 charge on sphere 1 is minus 92.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb charge on sphere 2 is minus 34.7 times 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb and divided by f which is 1.994 and whole square root can you quickly solve this 9 times minus 92 times 5 times minus 34.7 so minus minus will become plus and we divide it by 1.994 which is almost 2 and then just solve the uh, powers of 10 okay what do we get 3.9 8 0 9 meters.